Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an expanding hover effect on your grid layout in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So right now I'm logged into my admin dashboard. So let's start off by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. I'm going to give my page a name and then I'm going to click on use the Divi builder. So over here, I'm going to choose a pre-made layout. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. So the pre-made layout we're going to use is from the design agency layout pack, which is right here. So I'm going to select this and the page we need is the about us page. So I'm going to select here my about page and then I'm going to click on use this layout. So in a moment, the layout is going to be imported onto my page that I've just created. And now everything seems to be now loaded in. Excellent. So what you need to do next is to click on publish, right? So I prefer working on the uh, front end builder. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to come over here and click on build on front end. So I'm going to click here and this is the visual editor, by the way. Right. So what we need to do now is to scroll and go to the section that has the blurb modules, which is right here. Right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move these blurbs over here to this row because we are going to be applying all our settings onto one single row. So as you can see here, we have two rows. So all we need to do is to drag these over here like that. So once you're done, you should have this row with these six blurbs and the one on the bottom here should have nothing left inside. And then all you have to do is to delete this bottom one here. Now we're going to adjust the settings of our blurbs, but we're going to do them all at the same time. So we're going to be using multi-select. So I'm going to hold on my command key and then I'm going to select all these blurbs like that. And once they're all selected, you can let go of the command key and then click on this gear icon. So you can just click on any one of these. This will take you into the settings. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon and now we're in the settings. So I'm going to snap this to the left. So let's go to our title text. So I'm just going to click here on this little brush tool. So this will take me directly to my title text. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set this to 16 pixels. Right. So the next stage now is to remove all this text that we have here in these blurbs. So I'm going to click here on this brush tool. So this is going to take me directly here. In fact, we need to go into the content tab. Let's click here on text. And then we're just going to delete all this text that we have here. So now we're just left with icon and this description. Next, we're going to add some custom padding. So I'm going to come over here to spacing. So we're going to add 10 pixels to the top. And then here, we're just going to add defaults. And then back over here on sizing, let's just make sure that this is set to default. So over here is where you want to add your 150 pixels. So once you've added that, just make sure that it's all centered. Now we're going to make this blurb module more pronounced. So I'm just going to click here on this icon and then this takes me directly to edit the actual icon. So what we're going to do here is we're going to increase our font size to 120. So for our title text, we're going to set this to 18. So for now, let's save. The next stage is to go into our row settings, click on design sizing. We're going to set our custom gutter width to four. So the gutter width here is just the space between the columns. For our custom width here, we're going to set it to 750 pixels. So at the moment, it's set to 80%. So let's change this to pixels and add 750. Now it's time to go to the padding. So I'm going to click here on spacing. So I'm going to start with the left and right. I'm going to activate my chain and set 150. Now by adding 150 here, it's going to be applied both to the left and the right. And then now it's time to set our hover option. So I'm going to click this uh, arrow icon and then click the hover tab. So on the hover tab, we need to set this to zero on both sides. So notice what happens here when I toggle between the two. So now we're going to save. And what we're going to do next here is to create a circular grid. So I'm going to duplicate this one here and drag it before the brand identity. To vertically align the blurbs, you need to add a small CSS snippet uh, in the custom CSS. So you need to open the row settings and add the following CSS to the main element. So I'm going to come here, click on my row settings, advanced, 
custom CSS and in the main element, we need to add this snippet. So now we can see that everything has adjusted here. So if you want to use the same code that I'm using here, I will leave a link to the post in the description below. So I'm going to save and then we're going to test this. I'm going to save the page itself and then I'm going to exit the visual builder. Scroll down to the section. So let's see what happens when I hover. So you can see here that it's expanding when I try to go to this middle one here. Okay, so let's do the next effect. And this time we are going to expand to the right. So let's go back into our visual builder. Scroll down and I'm going to go into my row settings. Design. Spacing. So all we have to do is to come over here and set this to, in fact, let's break the chain, set this to zero. And then over here, we're going to set this to 300. So if I come over here to hover, you can see here that it's expanding to the right. And if you want you to expand to the left, all you have to do is to just swap this, add 300 over here to the left and then zero to the right. And what you could also do as well is you can uh, delete uh, some of these uh, modules here to have a different shape. All right, so we're done with this. I'm gonna go ahead and save changes. And right now, as we can see, these all look like they're the same size. So if you wanna make the uh, the middle one really stand out, all you have to do is to select all these like that, go into the settings, and then you can come over here to um, design, image and icon, and then we can reduce the size here. So we can make the one in the middle much, much bigger. So let's set this to about 60, like that. And then save. Now let's add an expanding hover effect to an image gallery. So to do this, we're going to go, we're going to scroll down over here until we get this image gallery. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new row, single column. And in that column, we're going to add a gallery module. I'm going to select it. And we're going to add four images in that gallery. And then before we do anything else here, we just need to come over here to elements and just make sure that show um, title and caption is set to no. And also show pagination set to no. So it's just the images that we have here. And also the images are four. So just make sure there's four on here. I know that's what comes in by default. And also, if you want to add specific images from your media library, all you have to do is to come over here to the media library and select the images that you want to use. Now, let's go, let's head over to the design tab. And then here, we want to add the zoom color. So I'm going to come over here. And for our zoom color, I'm just going to click on this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here, just like that. Next, we're going to add our hover overlay color. And again, I'm going to click on this eyedropper tool. And this time, our color is going to be an RGBA value. So I'm going to paste these values between the brackets, just like that. Now, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the description below. Right, so next, we're going to change the width of the gallery module. So I'm going to scroll down here, go to sizing. So we're going to set this to 40%. And then the width on hover is going to be set to 100%. So I'm going to click here on this arrow, click on the hover tab, and then set this to 100. And what you, need, what you also need to do here is just to make sure that everything is centered so that when, when you hover, it's, this is the action that you get. So what we've just done here is we've just reduced the width on the default state. And then on the hover, we just brought it up to 100%. So for now, we're going to save and then we're going to go to the row settings. So I'm going to click on this gear icon here. So we're going to adjust our custom width. So I'm going to come over here to design sizing, use custom width, and then we're going to set our width to 80%. So I'm going to click here, change my unit from pixels to percentage. And now it's on 80%. Now for the gutter width, we're going to set this to two. So I'm going to click on use gutter width and set this to two. And then we need to equalize the column height. So if you want the image gallery to expand without pushing the page content down, you can do this by setting a minimum height to the row. So we are, what we're going to do here is to add our minimum height of 300 and fix, and 350 pixels. 
And we are going to add, add this to the main element. So I'm going to come over here to my advanced tab, custom CSS, and then I'm going to add this to my main element. And then over here on the column main element, we're also going to add this CSS snippet. And as I mentioned, if you want to use this CSS code and the colors throughout, uh, that I used throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Right, so uh, this is all we need to do. The final thing now is to test this and see how this works. So I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to save the page itself. And we're going to exit the Visual Builder. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll down here to where that content is. And again, you can see here our animation on the first design we did. So I'm going to scroll down here and take a look at this one right here. So on hover, you can see it expands and it looks really, really cool. So what you could also do is you can go in and add more images. So you could add another row of four images and this effect will still be the same. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.